Hello everyone. Now we discuss the major part of the industrial microbiology that is the fermentation. What we are considering next in this particular subject is going to be the production of cyanocobalamin. Vitamins are the organic compound required by an organism as a important nutrient in a limited amount. They are designated by alphabetic letters example vitamin D or vitamin C and also they are designated by chemical names such as biotin, folic acid, niacin, cyanocobalamin etc. Vitamin have important role in the growth and metabolism of living cell. They are classified into two groups water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Water soluble vitamins include vitamin B and C. Fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E and vitamin K. This classification is based on the biological and chemical activity. Vitamin B12 or cyanocobalamin. It is the largest and most structurally complicated vitamin. It is a water soluble vitamin. Vitamin B12 have several applications in various fields. It is used in the medical and food industry. Second one, it can maintain the health of the nerve tissue and it involved in the brain function. Another function is that the metabolism of every cell in the body depends upon the vitamin B12. That is, the synthesis of fatty acid and the synthesis of the DNA, regulation of the DNA, energy production are dependent upon the vitamin B12. Human body produces millions of RBC in every minute. The synthesis of RBC or the production of RBC is dependent upon the vitamin B12. So, the production of RBC reduces if the vitamin B12 level decreases. If the RBC cell count decreases, then it causes the anemia. Okay. So, the vitamin B12 deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia and the overdose of the vitamin B12 causes acne-like crashes in the body. The biosynthesis of the vitamin B12 produces hydroxycobalamin. Hydroxycobalamin is a semi-synthetic form of the cyanocobalamin and this form can be converted into cyanocobalamin by human body. This figure shows the food items which contain the vitamin B12. Next, we can discuss the production of vitamin B12. Many different types of bacteria, fungi and actinomycetes synthesize vitamin B12. But intestinal and rumen bacteria are more important in its production. Two types of vitamin B12 are produced by the microorganism and one that promote the growth of microbes and the other type which is required for animals and humans. Different types of microorganisms are used for the production which include Streptomyces griseus, Streptomyces olivaceus, Bacillus megatherium, Pseudomonas denitrificans, Propionibacterium frudentrici, Propionibacterium shermani. Mostly Streptococcus, sorry, mostly Streptomyces olivaceus are used. It is isolated from soil. Generally, Submerged fermentation is used for the production. Aeration and agitation of the medium is essential for the production. 
Inoculum preparation. A series of steps are involved in the inoculum preparation. First step is the isolation of streptomyces spores from soil. Then these spores are inoculated to Bennett's agar. Bennett's agar consists of yeast extract, beef extract, glucose, enzymatic hydrolysate of the casein, water, agar, etc. Then this media is incubated in shaker and produces the primary inoculum. Then about 5% of the primary inoculum is added to the second container. The second container incubated for about 48 hours and produces the secondary inoculum. The secondary inoculum is added to the fermenter. Then there are different bioparameters affects the fermentation process which include carbon source, nitrogen source, mineral source, temperature, pH, yield, antiform agents, aeration, etc. The first bioparameter is the carbon source. In the vitamin B12 production, glucose acts as the carbon source. And the soybean meal, yeast extract and casein provide the nitrogen source for the production. Cyanide and cobalt chloride is required for production of vitamin B12 as mineral source. It is necessary to add the cobalt for the maximum yield of the cobalamin. And also it is essential to add the cyanide to the medium for the conversion of cobalamin to the cyanocobalamin or the vitamin B12. Another important bioparameters are temperature and pH. Here the temperature requirement is about 80 degree Fahrenheit and at the primary stage there is a fall in the pH due to the rapid consumption of the sugar. After 2 to 4 days the lysis of the mycelium begins and results in a rise in the pH. The stabilization of pH is done by the addition of sulfuric acid to the broth. Another bioparameter aeration and agitation. Aeration and agitation are required for the streptomyces growth. Aeration requirement is about 0.5 volume of air per volume of the media. High rate of the aeration causes foam formation. So, to solve the foam problem, we can add the anti foam agents. Anti foam agents include soybean meal, sorry, soybean oil, corn oil, lard oil, etc. And the final bioparameter is the yield. Yield is about 1 to 2 milligram per liter. Next topic, recovery of the vitamin B12. During the major part of the fermentation period, most of the cobalamin associated with the mycelium. Then, the recovery process consists of six steps that are heating, filtration, treatment with cyanide, adsorption of cobalamin, elution and precipitation. First step, heating. Heating the mixture at pH 5 can liberate the cobalamin from mycelium. Then it is filtrated. The filtration is done to remove the mycelium. Then the third step, treatment with cyanide. The filtrate is treated with cyanide 
to bring about the conversion of cobalamin to the cyanocobalamin the conversion can be made or the addition can be made during the fermentation that is the cyanide can be added during the fermentation period okay so it is converted into the white uh, cobalamin is converted into cyanocobalamin then the fourth step is the adsorption of cobalamin the adsorption of cyanocobalamin from the solution is by passing through an adsorbing agent packed in column example charcoal iron exchange resins etc then the fifth step is the elution it uses aqueous solutions like hcl water etc some kind of extraction can be carried out by counter current solvent extraction using benzyl alcohol and h2o then the last step precipitation the cyanocobalamin can be precipitated as zinc or copper cyanide complex the production step can be shortened here the media treated with cobalt is first sterilized okay it is the starting of the production process then inoculated the medium with 1% starter culture that is the streptomyces oliveaceus then the fermenter is maintained in anaerobic condition for 3 days during this period streptomyces oliveaceus produces 5,6 dimethyl benzimidazole cobalamate okay then after the 3 days anaerobic period aeration and agitation is provided that is the aerobic fermentation period the aerobic fermentation period is for about 4 days during this aerobic fermentation period pseudo cobalamin is produced that is the pseudo vitamin b12 then this mixture can be centrifuged centrifugation provide harvested broth and the harvested broth undergo acid and heat treatment to release the pseudo vitamin b12 then the pseudo vitamin b12 treated with cyanide and convert the pseudo vitamin b12 into cyano cobalamin then undergo adsorption chromatography and elution with phenolic compound after this the cyano cobalamin is present in the solvent then the cyano cobalamin can be converted into crystals or as complex so this is about cyano cobalamin production